most of the time I wake up four or five o'clock and get up and have a cup of coffee and then depending on what I've got to do that day. Usually the first involves a trip to the potato plant to pick up some potato juice. I'm usually headed to the potato plant about sunrise, but if you get out here about sunrise, you'd just eat cows getting up and starting to move around. And you'd see a beautiful sunrise. And if, if you stay here long enough, you'll see a beautiful sunset. And then by the time I get the truck, grab it up here and put it out, and take the truck back, it's usually noon. And then whatever I've got to do then, the last thing we do is feed the calves, and that usually takes about an hour and a half. So between noon and then, I, I try to keep up with the broken down equipment and uh, bush hog and maintenance stuff. Usually I'm, I finish by sunset. I'm Charles Barham. I describe Charlie Barham as just a good old country boy, and I'm a cow farmer. Race in the country, love it in the country, and don't want to be nowhere else. So that's where I'm at. So Charlie entered my brother and I's life, I was probably seven uh, when he married my mom. So he's been around since we were, I mean, 35, it's been 35 years or so uh, that Charlie's been in our life. Always been a great stepdad. He actually came in and asked my brother and I if he could marry our mom. And it was, it was pretty cool, it was a special moment. It's really cool to uh, be in business with him. That's, that's been pretty special. My name is Ed Link. I'm the owner of Barham's Ozark Beef. Uh, married to Mariana. My daughter is Catalina, who's four, who's been on the farm quite a bit and loves it. I grew up a jock. Uh, you couldn't get me on a field. I, I never came out to the farm, hardly ever. Farming was never really an interest uh, until recently. Well, I first started farming when I got out of, I graduated from Arkansas Tech in 1981. When we got out of college, we was dead broke. We couldn't buy no land. And so we just rented land around where I live. I started, I went to the county line sale barn over here and bought six baby calves, increased that to 10. I raised them on a bottle and then fed them on out till they weighed about 400 pounds. I sold them and bought six or eight mama cows. First farm I bought was out north of town and that would have been about 1993. We bought this property that we're at on today and that would have been about 2002 or three. We now have 500 acres and we have about 125 mama cows and then in the Ozark Barham's Ozark Beef Program right now, we have about 50 calves. So my first experience with Barham's Ozark Beef was we were at the house having dinner and I had been kind of looking at different businesses around Conway or Central Arkansas that maybe I can go purchase and, and turn it into something bigger than what it was. And I was looking at Charlie, I'm thinking, man, he is perfect. He is an expert at cattle farming. He's, he's a farmer, that's what he does. So if I can come in and bring the business side of things, now we've got something together. And that's how Barms Ozark Beef was born. And that was probably July, August last year, 2019. Uh, so it hasn't been that long, it's, it's a very new business. Thank you.
part I about I love about being out here is being with the cattle. Love being with the cattle. They're just common and Every one of them's got a personality, some good and some bad. There's some cows out here that just, I mean, they just, <laughs> they come up and rub on you every day and they want you to pet them like a dog or something. And uh, one, per one particular cow I had was a big crossbred cow and she had horns about 18 inches long and they curved up on the end and she had a calf one time and it got sick and I needed to give that calf a shot. And that cow was mean if you tried to mess with her baby. And when I went to get that baby, there was a bale of hay and that baby calf was laying by that bale of hay. And I called my wife in Conway and I said, if I don't call you back in 15 minutes, you call EMS, I'm over here at Oak Bend Farm and you tell them to come over here and check on me. And I grabbed that calf and it bellered and here come the mama and I got the shot in it and I got scooted around behind that bale of hay and she went by. <laughs> That's a close call. Well, how I describe the Ozark beef cattle from what I've eaten personally, it's been really tender and sweet because it's got a lot of corn in it. And one thing about our cattle, you know, we raise them from birth all the way up to harvest, and our cattle are all handled real gentle. And I think that makes a difference in the beef. There's no stress on these animals ever. They, they're not pumped with needles or hormones or growth hormones or antibiotics or none of that. They all just grow up the way they are. And, uh, and then the way they're handled, I think that makes a big difference. The Barms Ozark beef cattle are on a different feed program than what you've probably heard of any other cattle out there. Uh, so there's 500 acres out here for them to forage on. Uh, so they have that grass fed piece of it taken care of. Uh, but then also similar to what other farmers will do, they'll, we'll feed them grain uh, after they've been weaned. Uh, the additional item on the menu, uh, which I like too, is sweet potatoes. I love sweet potatoes. If I get sweet potato fries, I'm excited, you know, <laughs> to get that upgrade to sweet potatoes. Well, these cows get an upgrade every day. Uh, so what happens is Charlie has bought a, a dump truck and then a tanker truck and will drive to Clarksville where there's a sweet potato plant. And he gets their discarded sweet potatoes, drives it back to the farm and feeds them uh, either sweet potato juice or solid sweet potatoes. And so he feeds them those sweet potatoes and they love it. And, and one of the new techniques that you, have, you got to see today uh, is he is taking the grain and the sweet potato juice and mixing that together and the cows are just going nuts. They love it. They're very content. They're very happy cows. I almost wanted to try some. So the way we look at the Barms Ozark Beef Program is Charlie will take the best calves that he has and put them into the program. 
these calves are healthy, they eat well, uh, they're very well taken care of, uh, a little bit more than some of the other cows on the farm. Uh, some of the cows may get some grain, whereas these cows in the program will get grain every day. Uh, so they are just taken care of a little bit better than what the other cows are. And right now he has about 50 calves in that program. Uh, and as Barms Ozark Beef expands, he will expand that as well. But that's, that's the program. They're treated first class all the way. So it's, it, and we think you can taste the difference. She'd get down in there in her mouth and do this, and she'd snout and go down four inches into there. <laughs> and she'd come up and it'd be rolling out the side. Be... <laughs> First thing I tell them, make sure you've got a big banker, a good banker, because it is really, really, to get started, it is really money intensive. Really. The land's expensive. It's about Around here, it's about $2,500 an acre. So if you look at this place we're on, there's 125 acres. So you're looking to start off $300,000 in the hole. And then the mama cows cost, depending on what you buy, you know, you're looking at another $750, $800 a piece. So if you got 50 of them at 800, there's another 40,000. And then if you got to put up your own hay, you're going to need $100,000 worth of hay equipment. And then you're going to need a truck and a trailer. And then by the time you sell your first calf, you've got approximately $700 worth of feed in that animal. So you're a long ways in the hole on the first calf. I really love being out here most of the time by myself. And uh, I'm kind of built for that. I'm kind of, it doesn't bother me to be out here by myself all day long. And uh, I'd say I prefer that over working around people. What I've learned over the years, I've learned a lot of things out here on the farm, but one thing that you learn out here that no matter what you think of an animal, it is still an animal. They can hurt you, they can hurt you really quick. And so you've always got to be on guard. And uh, I guess I've learned that if you take care of them, they'll take care of you. So what I've learned over the years is it takes a very special, very dedicated person to be a farmer. Uh, and to be frank, I'm not that person, but thankfully Charlie Barham is. And I'm very proud to be in business with him and start this family owned business. Uh, I've seen his dedication over the last 39 years as a farmer. Uh, and I've seen him grow his operation over those years and also see how much he loves it. And, and I think that's very special uh, to have a farmer who loves what he does so much and to be able to help them by providing the sales and marketing logistics part of the business that allows us to grow a business together. Yeah, I was born and raised here and there's no place on earth I'd rather be than right here in Ozark, Arkansas. Uh, I've always thought it was great. There's anything you want to do outdoors is close at hand. I'm an outdoor guy so that just fits into me. And then the cattle, like I said, I like being around them. And so it all runs together. So I, I think what's special about Barnes Ozark Beef is Charlie. The amount of consistency he has shown in cattle farming over the last 39 years, to me is amazing. Every day he's out here feeding these animals, taking care of them, uh, and feeding them in a way that most cattle are not fed. When you taste Barham's Ozark beef, you, have, you would not have tasted any other beef like it in your entire life. Uh, we think it's better. I personally think it's better. My four-year-old daughter loves Barham's Ozark beef, which is not, I don't think, normal for a four-year-old to get excited about a piece of steak, but she does. Um, so I, I think the amount of care that Charlie puts into this farm and to these cattle, I think that's where the difference is. <laughs>
What makes this, the Barnes Ozark Beef experience so special to me is it's a family business. You know, I get to work with my stepdad every day. My mom's involved, my wife is involved, my daughter loves the beef. Uh, I'm able to sell to friends of mine and, and fill their freezers and then they can gather around their dinner table and have special times together where they get to interact and, and talk and have an experience uh, versus what you may normally do, which is typically sit down in front of the television and eat while you're watching The Voice or something. Uh, these are times where, you know, when you, when, you, when you cook a steak, okay, when you get a nice ribeye steak, you don't put that on a TV tray. You sit around the dining table, you have an experience together. Okay, you don't waste that in front of the television. I think creating those family memories, those family moments, I think is pretty special. And it's just cool to be a part of a business that, can, that provides that for families. Barham's Ozark Beef provides locally grown beef to people in our community. The mission of Barham's Ozark Beef is to deliver locally grown, all natural beef to your family's dinner table. Okay, I guess if I was going to give a pitch about why you should buy Barham's Ozark Beef, I would say, like I say everything, this is a farm-to-table product. Our animals are well cared for. Our animals are, I mean, just not stressed at all. And so I think that is why our product is the best available.